What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Knock Stiff Golf. Today we're talking about part two of the PGA Merchandise Show 2019. So in this video, we're just going to kind of go over a few things that I got to participate in the show. Uh, the first part is kind of going to the Folds of Honor Top Golf event, which was a blast. Got to meet a few people there, got to hit a few balls. It was my first time actually going to a Top Golf, so that was interesting. I was under the impression you bring your own clubs, and, and my buddy notified me that probably not for this event, and so you're swinging kind of like this senior flex shaft and you're not going there very seriously or anything, but it, it made making contact or good contact uh, quite difficult. So it was a good time. I'm glad that I got to go and it was a great event. A lot of people were there and I know they were raising money for for military families and, and stuff like that. So it's, it's a good cause and it was a great part of the evening. So then we got to go out to a place called Legends Walk. So this is the lighted nine hole course that's at one of the resorts and it was a unique experience because it's very different playing golf at night. Your depth perception and all the things are very, are it's different. And it's, I would say it's a little harder, but the coolest part was that you could see your ball through the sky because of the, how the lights were set up. So it was kind of cool to watch the ball take off and then land on a lighted green and just play at nine o'clock at night with a few people behind you and just have a good time. It was very casual. I don't even think we kept score for that, which was fun. And it kind of reminded me that golf kind of has to go that route for a little while, I think, to attract some of these younger people. I think there's a couple valuable things that I also learned from this trip, and that was playing these little nine hole courses. Both the Legends Walk and Winter Park were nine hole courses that were quirky and super cool and actually I think are gonna do a lot of good for the game of golf in the long run. A lot of people aren't willing to invest the time to play four and a half hours at least. A lot of times it can be six hours at the course, pay the prices, the 60, the 70, the 150 bucks, whatever it might be. They're just looking to get out there in an hour and a half, smack some balls, maybe drain a couple putts and then get on with their day. And so these little courses that are popping up places or are getting redone, I think are really gonna help grow the game in the long run. So well done to both of those courses. I had a blast at both of them and I hope they keep doing what they're doing. So after we played Legends Walk, uh, the next day we went to the show and kind of walked through. Again, I'm not a huge gearhead, so I tried out some of the new stuff and walked around to some of the booths, but it's, it's honestly just overwhelming for me because there's so many things to see and try and look at, and at the end of the day, I'm not buying any of it. I'm not looking to upgrade too many of my clubs right now. I don't need a moto cart, even though I'd like to try it <laughs> for sure. Sounded like they were basically already sold out before they even launched, but so a lot of this stuff is great to look at for me. It just, I'm not gonna be buying a lot of it. So it's kind of just for looks. So then after that, you'll see that uh, they had Kyle Berkshire there, one of the long drive guys sitting at the Volvic table. Got to meet him, get, he signed a ball for me. I gave it to my stepson, Aiden, and it was just a, it was a, he was a nice guy, he was funny, we chatted for a minute, we both shared the same name, so that he's a nice name kind of thing to start it off. And so he was just a very personable young guy, looks like he's probably gonna do some great things. So it was very cool to meet him and see all the other people there that, you know, are almost incognito. Um, there's a lot of people in this, the online world that are, are relatively unknown to a lot of the maybe older crowd that goes there, but they just walking around just like everybody else and you have that opportunity to say hi and shake their hand, take a picture with them, whatever it may be. And so that was really cool that I got to meet Peter Finch, somebody that I've been watching here for years and just have a conversation about Alaska and just his jet lag and all those little little things that uh, you've always, you always wonder what you're gonna say when you meet them and then sometimes you, you, you sound like an idiot because you don't have anything planned. So 
Regardless, this video is just a short little recap of day two. I'm honestly kind of glad that the show was over because I really needed to kind of come back and calibrate what I want to do with this channel going forward. I really want to step up the quality. I really want to be able to provide more value to you guys. And the show was great for a networking opportunity and to meet and play some golf but I really don't feel like that's what this channel is going to be about. It's never going to be about the new Cobra F9. It's never going to be about the newest club that's going to give you less spin and 10 more yards. This is about me playing golf in Alaska and struggling to get to play golf all year round like a lot of you guys do and just finding ways I can work around that and finding ways that we can trade tips and tricks on how to keep our game sharp and and hopefully come out better players when the season starts. So I think we all know that a lot of times better gear isn't the thing that's going to solve that problem. It's, it's the practice, it's the learning efficiencies and the mental game that needs to get better. So I hope that's okay with you guys because that's kind of where I want to go. Let me know in the comments. It's always useful to get that feedback and hear what you guys want to see as well. So thank you again for tuning in. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about this channel going so far, and I'll see you guys next time. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't tryna link no time to wait For the record Try make y'all comfortable. Right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. Right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to wait. Take advantage, I was wildin' On record, off record deals Tell them talk to Colin for the quote On record, off record, I still want the act, not the ghost For the record, I'm done tryin' make y'all comfortable right. For the record, we ain't tryin' to call them stuff for you right. For the record, 